when to land. The undercarriage coming down after an extremely spirited sequence, our first fast jet demo of many. slow flight paths of the day, around about 120 knots, around about 25 alpha, fly-by-wire in this aircraft, of course, uh, updated to Super Hornet status, all of the controls working very hard to keep this aircraft straight and level. Trahern and Sergeant Henry Luck in the lead aircraft, call sign Gunship 1. Warrant officers Jamie Bogus and Adam Nash are in the wing aircraft, call sign Gunship 2. The attack helicopter spray team are all Hunter have sighted some suspect enemy movement ahead, so the Special Forces Patrol have called Gunship in to conduct the low level path. Contact! Hunter's been engaged by two rocket propelled grenades. Gunship, roger. Searching for the firing point. summarise what's just happened. 
Hunter were engaged by rocket-propelled grenades and gunship flew evasive manoeuvres. Gunship 2 on the left has identified the enemy and has drawn Gunship 1's sight onto the target using his laser. Gunship 1 will now deliver quick battle orders to the patrol. Gunship, target, RPG team, left wheel, and gear to 30mm cannon. Gunship, you clear the mark for 30mm. If you look beneath the aircraft, you can see the 30mm cannon pointing in towards the engagement. Gunship, this is Hunter. We're taking fire to an immediate attack. Gunship, roger. Just informed you need rocket attack. Look at Gunship 1, closer to the crowd on the left, as he climbs to position for a diving fire rocket attack. Gunship 2 will follow up with a low level running fire rocket. sighting unit. This allows a co-pilot gunner to find targets by day and night using up to 127 times magnification. Above the sight is the pilot's night vision system that displays a thermal image to the pilot's monocle, allowing flight in absolute darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, as they approach back to the hover, you have Captain Jim Trahan and Sergeant Luck in Gunship 1 to your right, and Warrant Officers Boats and Nash in Gunship 2 to your left. Please put your hands together for the 2015 Attack Helicopter Display Team. The Mir 1000 m is a two-centimeter aircraft. Each crew member is either its specific function.
operations command is long-range missions in support of uh, special ops forces infiltrating. Windows, so that means they're flying the helicopter now together. One is operating the pitch, the other one the stick, and that's uh, quite challenging. Crew coordination. So if you have something uh, to wave back at our pilots, please do so. They will see. They will notice it as a sign of appreciation. Thank you very much for this impressive display, Captain John Fitzer and Captain Philip Weber. Thanks for the display. Named after First World War, German ace Max Immelmann. We'll see another one of those towards the other end of the display line. Unlike conventional helicopters, the Chinook uses differing lengths between the two rotors to its speed and direction. As you can see, when Brett got to the top of the manoeuvre, he would have put the cyclic stick forward, first increasing the lift on the amp head, and As the aircraft comes around the corner, those 30 foot blades, feet in the air into submission, should make a nice bit of noise and make the change from jet noise. running landed. This is a unique ability of the aircraft with the wheel configuration it has. And in context it is used when we have engine troubles and need to reduce the amount of power required to land the aircraft safely. Around approximately 60 knots. This reduces the burden and performance on the engine. Daily Mail, who wanted a new high-speed from 75 years ago, reunited in friendlier times. sound of four Rolls-Royce Olympus, Rolls-Royce Bristol Olympus 202 engines, 16 and a half thousand pounds of static thrust each of them, total of about 65,000, keeping it slightly less than that, um, in the interests of keeping the old girl going nicely. So we got to hear the Vulcan howl, I hope we'll get to hear it again. 
And you get to see as she turns around onto finals and back down the runway again, that wonderful triangular shape, as designed in 1946 by the wonderful Roy Chadwick, who'd also designed the Lancaster and the Anson, great Avro aeroplanes. So as Kemp brings the Vulcan in along the runway, along the display line, I'm looking to see him accelerate her to about 300 knots, 345 miles an hour. So when he takes the power off, it all goes quiet again. She's in the colours, this aeroplane. Uh, of, she has the Lincoln coat of arms on the fin, plus the Panthers head of number one group. That was the Rhino Horse group that controlled all of the Vulcans. overcome by nuclear holocaust during the Cold War. Vulcans never went to war until, that is, the 30th of April 1982, when one Vulcan And there you get an idea of the amazing agility of this aeroplane. She doesn't have a big control yoke like most bombers. She has fighter-type control columns for each of the pilots. And of course, she is amazingly agile. In the early days at the Farnborough Air Show there, test pilots actually rolled the aeroplane. So that became rather frowned upon. And she wasn't allowed to do it anymore, but perfectly within her capabilities. As she comes in this time, we may see the bomb doors opening. There we go. Bomb doors open. And you get an idea of the enormous size of that bomb bay. The bomb bay, of course, is the heart of the bomber. That's what it's all about. And in fact, on that bombing raid to the Falkland Islands, the aircraft took the and children and young people who are inspired to learn more about engineering and aviation. She went into her zoom climb, and she'll be coming uh, back later on. How nice to see the red arrows giving her a real red arrow. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened can't manage that, at least smile through the tears. Jets going upside down together at 2,500 feet, 400 miles an hour, with the aircraft only six feet away from each other. Oh. And the Airbus product, production method, is a multinational. 
Formula One, the major assemblies, have flown to a final assembly plant in Seville aboard the very distinctive outsized A300 Beluga freighters. Britain makes the outer wing box and flat courtesy of the ever Food on my own. 